Okay, everyone, we are going to look at sex linkage today. And um, this is in your notes on 17.2 in your textbook. And the fellow that was doing this is a fellow by the name of Thomas Hunt Morgan. He used uh, Drosophila to study sex linked traits. And we're going to break this section up into two uh, sex linked traits and then linked uh, traits that are on the same chromosome or linked um, genes on the same chromosome. So we're going to have two different lessons. We're just looking at sex linkage today. Okay, we know that the X and Y are not homologous. And that means that the, um, the genes on them are not linked. For example, eye color um, is located on the X chromosome. And that's what Thomas Hunt Morgan found with um, Drosophila. So traits controlled by genes on either the X or Y are called sex-linked traits. Drosophila is, these are the fruit flies that you might find in your kitchen. And they are the workhorse of genetics. Red eyes is called wild type. And because it's on the X chromosome, we write the X chromosome and the dominant is big R. So if this was a female, she would have big R, big R, or she could be big R, little r. But if the eyes are white, this fly would be little r, y for male, or for a female, she'd have to carry both recessive alleles for eye color. And you can see this is normal wing type, okay? And these are curly wings. Okay, or vestigial wings where they're shriveled up. So eye color is on the X chromosome. So sex linked genes are on sex chromosomes, especially the X. There's the X, there's the Y. Y chromosome is shorter, and X linked traits are more common in men because um, you just have to inherit one recessive allele. And we get our X chromosome from our mother. Examples are colored blindness, hemophilia, and baldness. No wonder more men are bald than women. You only need one recessive trait. And more men are colorblind than, um, than women. So if you're staring at this picture here and you can't see a number, which happens to me, I am colorblind, okay? And how we would denote that is the, the lowercase c would be recessive. So a female to be colorblind would have to have two recessive alleles. Okay, so when we do the Punnett square of a white-eyed male with a red-eyed female, we now we write X with the little r and big Y. So there we have it. There's the female, red-eyed, red-eyed male, red-eyed female, and red-eyed male. They're all red-eyed. Color pattern, uh, color blindness passed on to the next generation. If the man is colorblind, and this is on figure 1.9, page 603, man's colorblind, marries a normal woman, we break up the um, gametes into the Punnett square, and we see here that the males can pass the X linked recessive trait only to their daughters. How about if we have a heterozygote female and a normal male? She has one recessive trait. Half her eggs are going to have the recessive trait. So heterozygotes, females, has 50% chance of passing recessive allele to the child. And notice here that one of them is going to have color blindness. Okay, so let's take a look at some questions that you've been given on page 11 of your workbook. And I'm just going to work through a couple of the, the first two questions and let you try the rest on your own. Okay, so draw upon its square for this cross. Well, we've got a wide-eyed female and a red-eyed male. So we're going to go X little r, X little r, X big r, and Y. We're going to cross this. And we're going to link these up. 
I'm going to draw and denote the, first, the dominant first, recessive second. And we just repeat this. Okay, and we're going to be asked to do the phenotype ratio. Well, for every one, one female um, red-eyed female, we're going to have one white-eyed male. And I've indicated the sex as well on this. So you can notice that we, this second gamete, all the gametes are going to be, for the female, all the gametes are going to be recessive. So do I really need to draw this in? No, I don't. Okay, I can just go one to one there. Which fly would you cross with the white-eyed male? Here's my white-eyed male. To get an F2 cross where all the, the, the flies are white-eyed. In other words, the female flies are white-eyed and the male flies are white-eyed. Well, it would have to be um, the white-eyed female because remember, 50% of the gam, well, in this case, all of the gametes that she's gonna be uh, presenting are the recessive. So when we cross it, now I'm just gonna get rid of that. That's gonna be confusing. I'll put my cross like that. We we'll draw the component square. I'm gonna get this and I'm just gonna draw the one gamete, that's all of them are going to be recessive for the female. And there's my females that are white. There's my male that is white. So all of the F1s are white-eyed. So that would have, this would have to be the cross. Okay, let's take a look at question number uh, two. Right brain color blindness in humans is a sexing trait in a large family in which all the daughters have normal vision, all the sons are colorblind. Okay, so all the daughters have normal vision. We don't know if that's dominant or recessive, but the males are going to be colorblind like that. What are the probable genotypes of the, of the parents? Okay, well, in this case here, the mother would have to be, oh, and I'm sorry, I'm going to use uh, C for color. This should be a C, big C, and a little C. The mother would have to be recessive, and the father here would have to have normal color vision. And we can explain that by proving it in, this would have to be the parents. And we can prove this by doing the Punnett square. The female, the mother, and the father, the mother's gametes would be little c, the father's gametes, big C, and Y. All the daughters are going to be heterozygotes, and the sons are going to be colorblind. Heterozygotes. Notice that only the females can be heterozygotes, okay? So th that's how we do that question there. And then if we, if we ask the question like, well, what's the chance of having um, your first child that is a colorblind um, male, for example? We could say 50% uh, of the, the, of the uh, children, there's a 50% chance of having a um, uh, a, a male, and there's a 100% chance that they would be um, uh, colorblind. So it would still be 0 0.5, okay? So what I want you to do here is I want you to do questions three to six on, on, in the workbook uh, for um, sex linked, okay? And then I want you to try, turn over the, um, the page, and I want you to take a look at the, the next uh, set of problems there, which um, is a murder mystery. So these are going to be, I'm just going to bring this up. Uh, these will be in your workbook. 
Um, the murder mystery, uh, which is on the following page. Yeah, okay, so this will be on pages um, You should have up to page um, up to page twelve. So up to page twelve uh, completed um, by Friday. Okay. And this afternoon, I will go over um, these questions with you. If you've got any questions with those, and I'll post the answer key as well um, by the end of the week.